Greetings viewers and subscribers. Welcome back to another vlog. This is Farmer Enjo and here with the channel Fruits for the Youths. Now peeps, I'm here. You know, be resilient as usual. Um, looking at this corn right here, just to let you know that when the river came and run over this corn, it is still standing. Alright? Whenever the crops are young or like very small and the river water run over them, it doesn't really affect them. But when they are big and fit, that's when and the river runs over it, that's when it is being affected. Now let's take a look peeps at this land right here. This farmer here, which is my neighbor, he already cleaned up, you know. I had a plower went through his his land and it is now ready to farm. Now what I'm noticing that the river came onto this land right here and what it left it's going to carry a lot of nutrients to the land so this land right here is very fat peeps this is the blessing after the river you're going to see how fruitful this land is going to be all right because the river brought a lot of stuff with it so it's a good look all right now this corn right here i don't even know if we're going to burn through it or we're going to plant pumpkins but we still have to be on our P's and Q's because the hurricane came very early this year in July. Usually it's the month of September and October we look for hurricanes. So we still have to watch August, September to see if there's going to be any more disaster. Now my task today peeps is to go and treat the nursery. Now yesterday we weed out the nursery, burn some land and I'm back at it again now peeps. I'm going to give the nurse some nutrients and spray it for insects all right and i'm going to let you see what the nursery looks like so come along and just join with me this morning here are some farmers peeps hard at work they planted back some cabbage that was in the nursery that they had and they are plowing through the land you know making trenches and stuff so the water can run off properly now here is where i've burnt I need to chop up this. Son man! Now I beg you to cut up your banana tree for me here, please. Alright. I'm gonna get this banana tree here cut up peeps and get it out of the way. Because sooner or later, sooner than later, you'll see a lot of cabbage right here. Now yesterday I came again and I burned here. I burn over there. I'm taking my time burning the land. The guys are gonna clear it this week hopefully so I can get to plant these out and these are so big and nice people big and lovely I give thanks I lost some right here the patch is empty most part I give thanks give thanks for what the storm left all right so I'm gonna go through peeps I have a mixture of harpole Actara and an adjuvant inside this here you know just to give the cabbage some you know nutrients I have a little bit of topsin in there too just to take care of this so I can plant them out as quickly as possible peeps alright the bats are attacking them already if your eyes are good as mine you'll see them let me see if I can move this and see if anything will jump out of it. Couldn't see anything jump. Alright. So this is what I'm going to do now peeps. Burn through this. Um, spray this cabbage for insects and give it some nutrients. Alright. So I'll see you in a little bit. Give thanks. Here we go peeps, I sprayed the nursery for it to look fresh and green again and nice. So hopefully this week I can get to plant all of these out. Alright peeps, so come along with me, keep me company on this journey. You have been my encouragement. I'm going to take this time out to big up blocks. Yes, one of my 
subscribers from England. He's also my cousin. I'm doing this for you, two blocks, you know, the, the determination, the focus, and the encouragement. I also want to shout out the persons who, you know, reached out to me after the storm to find out if I was okay. All right, Andre, respect, bless up. You have donated a pack of 10,000 cabbage seed to me. I really appreciate that. All right. So, you know, people, small things. I appreciate it a lot. Small gestures does, doesn't have to be big. I'm not the type of person who's going to go out there and, you know, solicit people. So, you know, for money, i rather to do it on my own. You know, but I have some good friends out there who have reached out, want to know if everything is okay. I mean, if you want to donate towards the farm, I, I don't have a problem. I give thanks. But at the same time, I'm not stretching out because I know how that is. Everybody have their problems. Everybody went through the storm. So, you know, every single person have their problems. But I give thanks still. So that is it, peeps. That is how we, you know, take care of our nursery after the hurricane. Look at the land. And it's all cracked up. It's not tough though, peeps. It's very soft. Look. See? So this land has a lot of nutrients in it now. You just want to plow up. And we weed and come again. See? Very soft. Very soft. As I told you before, peeps, this part of the land on the back right here is very soft and cool compared to the one up there it's very dry so this is some of the burning that I did yesterday I'm trying to get all of here ready to accommodate those right there so hopefully tomorrow I can come and do some more burning so when the guys come Tuesday to start you know clearing the land and digging the holes for the cabbage I'll be ready so with all that said peeps thanks for watching Thanks for staying on the journey with me. Remember to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the movement. I'm on the road to 10,000 subscribers now. I just only have 1,300. So remember to share. You know, ask a friend to ask a friend to subscribe to the movement. Remember, gossip is a broke people's sport. Love your neighbors, love your friend. And fruits for the youth, say, wow, good.